Uh, I don't know, Fat. Say it a little too much. Now listen up here, Duke. We've got ourselves three months worth of money to allow us to live normally among these people. How will we pay off the mortgage? Duke, it's not every day that you see a machine like us walk in the streets looking for a place to live on their own. You... you mean you uh, scared the realtor? Pretty much. Well, look at yourself, Duke. What do you have inside of you? What's under all those cosmetics? Metal, air tubes, Mac valves, an air compressor. But what I mean is people live on money. We don't have enough money. How will we live like humans? By scaring them all? We don't need money. We have you heard of Five Nights at Fats. Fritz? I don't want to scare people. It's not what we are built to do. There has to be another way. Find a job, Duke. I'm not going to stop you. We're never going back to showbiz. Those days are long over. If you're worried about money, then earn some money. Good luck with the interviews. Check out the basement, Billy Bob. Let me take a look. That is one spacious basement we got here. How can we make it feel like home, Billy Bob? Well, uh, I guess we could build a stage. <gasps> Say, that's not a bad idea, Looty Bird. We can make it feel like showbiz again. We could build a stage like the original. And we can have a spots in it, and we can play music. We can invite people and sell pizza. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of tables. Just like the good old days, brother Bob. Well, why do we get the games? You're right. What if people don't come? And what if people don't eat their pizza? What if we don't have any games? Yeah, this idea is gonna be a total failure. It still might be worth a try. They thought teeth would never look right on a beak, but look at her high hall. What? What are you doing up there? That's not fair. fair. We're they happy as we are. They we don't, don't need have a proper home. They've been locked up for years in a pen that they've been be fine on their own. Misery. Just even be. It's time that they have been retrieved, Earl. I hate this I idea. I am not arguing anymore. We're going and that is that. Rolf, where are you going? Don't worry, Mitzi. We'll be back in a few days. <laughs> See you around. Thank you for calling customer service. How may I help you today, sir? Yeah, I was wondering about applying for a job. Sir, I believe you have the wrong number. This is customer service. Is there anything else I can help you with? I would like to apply for a job. Sorry, sir. Uh, again, this is customer service. We don't deal with job applications, but you might want to try. Oh, this is hopeless. Hey, Missy, are you feeling all right? I don't know. Everything is changing too fast. Choo Choo's climbing things. Billy Bob is acting strange. Lady Bird is more or less the same. And now the Rolf is leaving for a few days. Everything is so confusing. I don't know what to do. I have an idea. Why don't you try actual cheerleading? Cheerleading? I'm applying right now. Thanks, Fats. What are you applying for anyway? Well, Earl, this is it. We are leaving to on, on the, the road, road again. again. What are you doing in my car? Hi, Ralph. Oh, we were wondering, could you I drop us off by a depot home? Yeah, a depot home. Fine, but you're walking back. Welcome to the Rockefeller House. I guess. Thank you for the welcome. <laughs> Where could I by any chance find some delicious lizards? Probably in the fridge somewhere, I don't know. That's, uh, you can sure as heck trust me, pal. I know just the right place for them to stay. One more word out of you, and their new place to stay will be right up your- That's, what is this? You mean you don't know about the amazing moon rockers? I only recovered two, but, uh, however, they're made up of our very own center stage. I, but, how did you acquire them? You didn't, you snuck them out, didn't you? Look at them, Duke. Princess Haley here can't even talk. And Quasar is, I can't tell what's wrong with him. How do you suppose we fix them? No worries, Duke. I'll take care of them. Okay. Just another normal day at the rocket firehouse. Duke, just let them make themselves at home. You were just going to... Well... My dream was to go to the moon. 
Quasar. Whatever happened to the rest of the Moon Rockers? <sighs> Orc and all of the zone. They are broken. Dead. Beyond possible repair to take them with us. Poor souls. Hey, Haley. Princess, if you like, uh, I'd be more than happy to show you to your room. And here you are. <laughs> it ain't much, but uh, it'll do. Is that Quasar? What are you doing here? You're sort of an internet star. Well, only in a few videos. Yes, Quasar has taken in various activities with my colleagues from the Moon Rockers. Say, where's everyone else? The princess has come with us, uh, but the others, sadly, were no more. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, let us show you what we've been up to. We went to Deep Home Depot and got some dead trees. Then we decided we're recreating the Rock of Fire explosion stage. And hey, we got tons of wood. We can make an extra stage for you guys. If you're planning to stay, of course. That sounds most interesting. Quasar mm, would very much like the world. And it's settled. Let's get to work. Oh, yeah. What are we doing then? Nobody knows. Every time you call my name, I heat up like a burning flame. Burning flame, full of desire. Kiss me, baby, and let the fire get higher. Here, we need to return them. Well, we can't now, Duke. The trip will be too long. Long, you say? It took Earl and I one night driving. That was there. two days, Rolf. Two days. I don't care. They're not really from the moon, and I don't want them here. What? I think you should do is give them a chance. Let them stay. Get to know them. The poor things have been stuck in storage for years and years. They're old and have changed a lot. They're happy to still be alive. You want to shove them back into that dusty, cramped Okay, old... okay, they can stay. They can stay. I have a mole. A townhouse, a huge mole. Can we go, please? Uh, a mole? I can't deal with this right now. Stop, Duke. Let's take our mind off of things and give the two the best first day with us. A mole? You're nuts. 